And that is from the brand new album by the Jerry Garcia Band. Jerry, what do you think about stuff like uh, Elvis Costello's Watching the Detectives Merging Reggae and Rock? Uh, I like it. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. I like Have Elvis Costello. Yeah. You win again. Take it, Jay! Some of that stuff I really like a lot. Uh, the so-called <laughs> new wave music. Yeah, yeah, what do you like? Uh, what I like, well, I, I really like that, that uh, band Cheap Trick. Mm -hmm. I like they're them great. a lot. They're great. Yeah, I think they're really great. And, and I just, what I, what I like about it uh, is uh, the spirit, you know. And, yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, the, the, guy, the, the guys are putting hard. out, you know, they're putting out and trying hard, like uh, the whole American heavy-duty production trip, the L.A. trip, the slickness, you know, the, the you know, the glib slickness of all the it's all gone produce. well it's it, it's gotten to be so mechanical and so predictable and so safe you know right. from a musical standpoint well, let's put let's put some strings here uh, and, yeah uh, well. you know it's very it's a formula trip it's almost a formula trip so this this other music is real raw and real nasty and the and the players are not very good but the spirit there the you know the spirit there is something i think that uh, uh young people can always dig that you know it, 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 <laughs> Can you come that, I dig it, you know. I mean, I I'm not deep young anymore, really. I remember Me listening either. to the FM radio, which I yeah. don't get a chance to do much because my car radio is broken, <laughs> and uh, I was in somebody else's car. And most of the stuff I hear, I I can't get real deep into anymore. It seems like it's pop music has taken kind of a fall as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, me too. And I heard this punk rock song, I don't know who it was by, and it, it got me off more than anything I heard on the radio all that whole day I was listening to the radio. It was just like blue, like some kind of blues and surfing music uh, <laughs> thing with the gu guitar blues licks that weren't right, you know, like not quite the right chords and stuff and I, was, I loved it it was like they were trying to make music well new wave yeah. music is That's mostly because of the hype, the the press part of it, you know, uh, that their behavior makes it so it's like a one-time only shot, you know what I mean? Uh, in other words, you know, the uh, for example, like Bill Graham would put on the Sex Pistols, uh, although they're disbanded now, and would put on one show, but after that one show, he just he just said, never again, I'm just not going to do it again, I'm not going to expose uh, my own people, the people that work for him. I to... saw Bill Graham, I think it was on the Tomorrow Show, and he was with a member of the Jam, and he was saying, you know, I really respect your music, but as a promoter, I don't know if this is going to work too well. well yeah, the there, there are some, it some problems. Set up. Too. It was I'm set sure up it's by the press it? before anybody ever even heard it. Yeah, I think that was I read was about that about stuff it. before I ever heard yeah, it. Yeah, that was what's, what was unfortunate. People go there expecting to get crazed. And there's and, that... Uh, you know... Uh, well, maybe that's one of the problems with pop music. Well, now. the image is more important. Well, the pop, the, the pop the music, music journalism, you know, pop music journalism. Like, like everybody who is writing for the the various the respective magazines, you know, the uh, Crawdaddy and Cream and Rolling Stone and so forth. They're all anxious to to be the first to recognize the new, you know, phenomena. You know, mm -hmm. now, that and I and I can dig that. You know, it's like uh, a news a, a journalist wanting a scoop. You yeah. know.
small element of activity in the English working class, you know, uh, what became magnified way beyond its own real power, uh, you know, to deliver. It seems like perhaps it started in England. It was really raw and rough, and now yeah. a lot of the a lot of the more talented people, say, in this country and in Britain, have taken sort of the values within the new wave music and redefined it. And That's right. It's coming out into stuff like Elvis Costello, sure. which it sounds like sort of good R&B, yeah. but if you listen and to the words, I, I it's think what, if they, a lot I think different. They're going to be involved in a matter of progression as well. In other words, a player is going to, those players, the guitar player, the singer, and so forth, they're going to listen to their record, you know, and say, that, well, the next record... I think I'll, I'd like to play a little bit better on the next record. You know? <laughs> Hopefully, you know I mean? really, yeah. It's uh, one of those things that's hard to avoid. I mean, when you're a performer, you really your instincts, uh, regardless of what your act is, your instincts are to try to be a little bit better, unless there's something really funny about you, you know. And, uh, and I think that the music is will have that thing of developing into something else, maybe, you know. <laughs> Grateful Dead show a year or so ago with the Who. Now they're yeah. they go going back ten years. Now they're the original punk, you know. Yeah, a lot they, of, they do yeah, great yeah, too. Yeah, you know, I have a lot of respect for them. and I admire what they do. However, they're uh, uh, I spoke to uh, to uh, set, uh, Pete Townsend before uh, their set, and he was telling me that uh, they've been playing the same show for four years. You know, I mean the same show. You know. That's a little bit of a burn. To, yeah, it to, is. To it's a burn for them, and they were sort of here. depressed about it. I mean, to have to have to have to do exactly the same numbers in exactly the same order for four years in a row is, I really think, you know, I mean, it's not exactly a sign of progress. And I think it's it unfortunate because the, the guys themselves are capable of more than that. You know, they're capable of better things. It, it was just amply pointed out to me that when the critics criticize us for taking mu too much time between numbers, they're criticizing us for not playing. And if they're music critics, they should be criticizing the music. And so what are they doing criticizing stuff that's not music? That's not their job. <laughs> 